we're just going to go to the configuration tab here. And then by making the table, now I can just by double clicking change the configuration. Cool. I'm just going to leave that table and then read those configurations in the page. So how I do that is I just um, go to insert, tables, design table. And then we're just going to have it auto-create it and say OK. So now it's going to ask us what dimensions do we want. So what was D1? What was the first dimension I put in? What was the second one? So let's get out of that. We're just going to erase that table. We're going to go back into our part. So that's where naming these comes in handy sometimes. Because this is a pretty easy one, but if I had a lot of sketches and features, what, which one is sketch one, which is sketch two, which is sketch three? So now I can come in and maybe name the stuff like this is um, body. Yeah, we've had that, <clears throat> had that problem recently. We had a pretty big uh, assembly going on, and at, you know, with multiple accesses and planes, and it's like the trees, you know, that long, and you're trying to zoom down, and then you grab the grab the wrong one, and yeah, because all that is and intrusion like, one through like eighty, right? Right. <laughs> that you're like, which one was that? And you have to just click on each one. And, yeah, and then it actually shows up. And if you're zoomed in on something, you won't even see it because you know you're like trying to pinpoint yeah. where it's at. But each time you click on something, it'll show you yeah, what it is. Highlight but, it, but if it's off on the side somewhere, <clears throat> but so it let, saves you a lot of time if you were to name it. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna. That's where it's gonna name the actual everything you do, and also if we go into <coughs> the sketches, we click on a dimension. We can change this. So I'm gonna change it from D1 to diameter or we just die and I'll go to this path and maybe I want to make some design changes here too so instead of having this dimension I just want the overall but I want to be able to control that spacing there so that way I can control that spacing and then I stay centered otherwise it's going to that, that'll change, so it might be a little easier to control that way, so I'll, I'll do this one and I'll call this one um, this neck. I just kind of went through and, and named everything. And if I knew I was going to be doing this, I'd probably do this while I was making it. So as I put each one in, I'd name it. So now when I go in and insert that table, Now it's, I have leg at the path, height at the path, depth at the path, width, fillet, connection, diameter of the profile. So now I, now I know what they are. I'll say, okay, just put all those in. I just put one. Okay, actually I just put one in. So what I'm just going to do is right click on those annotations and show feature annotations. Now I can just see all my features. 
or all my dimensions. So I just right click on annotations, show feature dimensions. Now if I go back in, edit the table. Now I can just double click on things today. So if I just go to that field, so if I want the width, I just double click on it. Or I guess I just single click on it. So I can just click on them. See what I want. Let's just put everything. That one's always going to stay one, so I'll just leave that alone. Yeah, so. Maybe I just want to change the diameter, the width, the depth. Looks. So I can come in and, and stretch this out. Or what I can do is I can right click on it, edit a new window, and then it just brings up Excel. And you can see these dimensions have turned pink now. Because mm -hmm. now that means that they're being driven from this table. So I can put it in. Um, or I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna call config. Config once before. So now I can just come in and tell it that yeah, I want these all to be quarter except for four, which I want to be. That one's going to be a little bit bigger. That one, the width is going to be four. The depth of three, the leg being. The height being. I can just put in some numbers. Probably not that high. So. so I can just put in some numbers. And uh, close the return to heater. It's going to tell me that I've added new configurations. I say OK. So now I can just come in and click on these configurations. It changes it. Okay. So let's do a click on the default. Uh, it'll go back to whatever. And since the default was the same as what I made for Fig One, it's going between those two doesn't change anything. Now let's say I had. about that little piece there sticking out of it. And it's only on some of them that I want that. <clears throat> right. So I can go back to the table. And I'm going to put in that diameter. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click on going to double click on that feature. See so now I put in that, that whole feature. And it's, and it's named instead of D1, it state dollar sign state at boss extrude. So I probably should name that one too. But that, that is state is going to let me suppress and unsuppress it. So let's say on one, two, three, I want it suppressed. And four, I want it unsuppressed. And on four, I want to make it 
the rest doesn't matter because it's going to be suppressed. What does it mean by suppressed? So when I go back to three, it's not there. It's not there. So suppress lets you turn it on and off, and we can do that on the tree here by right clicking and going to suppress. Uh, it's giving me this just because it's in the design table, and so it doesn't want if that item's in the design table, it doesn't want you to do it here. So, but if you're doing just some one thing, you can suppress things. So that's how you make. Other things show up, or holes disappear on some objects and, and appear on other ones, um, things like that. So let's go ahead and I'll let you guys do this. So take the one you did yesterday. Hope you guys saved it. Did you? No? Okay, I'll put this into um, another H drive so you can grab it.